Okay, so I was hoping we could talk about angles today, I'm trying to make this really, really short, but just when you're starting trig, some little things make life much, much easier. So here's one. Let's take your angle here, if you don't mind, we'll make your angle here in green. You just want to talk about what standard position means, so when you hear this in trig, you'll know what your professor is talking about. So here's your angle. So here's your angle right here, yeah? So what we're going to do when we talk about putting a stand, uh, about having an angle in standard position is simply to say that we're going to take our angle and we're going to over, overlay it onto the Cartesian plane. So here's the Cartesian plane, if you don't mind. What I'm suggesting to you is that we're going to pick up your angle here. If you don't mind, I'm going to put your angle in yellow here. Put your angle here and so say this is one ray right here and this is the second ray right here. And where the two rays meet, of course, is called the vertex. And all we're going to say is this, that we're going to take the vertex and we're going to put it at the origin right here. We're going to take this first ray, we're going to call this the initial ray, and we're going to lay that on the positive x-axis. This is really important, positive x-axis. So here's that thing here. And then what we're going to do is we're going to open up your ray until we get to this position, and we're going to have this yellow ray right here. So <clears throat> standard position of an angle, if we have an angle in standard position, it means we have the vertex at the origin, right? The initial ray, I-N-I-T-I-A-L, initial ray here, and then it opens this way, doesn't it? We're opening this in a positive direction. This is, right, if we open it the other direction, we'd have a negative, we'd have a negative angle. So we're going to open it counterclockwise, and where it opens to is going to be called the terminal ray. Okay, so I'm hoping from this, when you hear your professor, or you hear your teacher talking about an angle in standard position, you know that's what he or she is talking about, okay? The next thing I want to talk about really quickly, and I'm going to stick to this idea of a very short video, is this. So I want to take this, oh, I want to take your angle here, and I want to assign, assign some names to the sides. So if you don't mind, right, here's our angle in standard position, or not, but let's take it this way. Actually, let's take a triangle here. So I'm going to take our triangle here, right, we'll take our triangle here. So here's our triangle. Maybe this is 90 degrees, maybe it's not. That's not my argument. If it was, I'd make the little symbol here. But let's agree on this, that in this particular case, that the angle of interest to you is this one. And what we name the angle of interest is theta. And if you go from theta, angle theta, if you go straight out to here, you have side opposite. This is really, really important. If this is side opposite, this is automatically side adjacent. Right? And that makes this a hypotenuse. A hypotenuse. Whoa, hypotenuse. Spell it right. If not, comment, will you? Okay, let's take a different, take something different and say, okay, I'm interested in this. I'm interested in this triangle. And you say, well, Charlie, I'm not interested in this angle. Yeah, me, I'm interested in this angle. So if you go straight out from this angle to here, this is side opposite. And this is side adjacent. And this is the hypotenuse here, okay? So this is gonna be kind of helpful to you. Remember, when you're looking for the opposite, side opposite, go to your angle, the angle that you're interested in, theta, and go straight out from wherever that is, and you'll get to side opposite. Okay? All right, told you I'd keep this quick. Some quick things to remember. We have side adjacent, side hypotenuse, and side, what did I say? Adjacent, hypotenuse, and opposite, sorry. And then we also talked about what the standard position mean. And I think I'm going to be under three minutes on this video. I'm praying. Standard position, take your angle, right? If I could, if I was clever enough, I'd do this. I'd pick this up, but I'm going to try this one time quickly. It's not going to work because I suck at this. I'm going to do this right. I'm going to rotate this angle. Look at that. See how it came to pieces on me? Okay, that's not going to work. If I could, though, see what I was going to do? I was going to pick this whole damn thing up, and I was going to slide it over here. Yeah, I was going to turn the whole thing. I wasn't going to change it. I was going to turn the, um, the 
figure and then put the vertex of it here, put the initial ray, remember the initial ray, on top of the positive x-axis and have it open this way to the terminal ray. All right? Okay, you guys, I hope this was helpful. Um, some of the stuff in trig is just understanding the language, so I hope that helps. You're going to like it a lot more than you like geometry. I promise you that. Keep working hard.